Hello, everyone, and welcome to a new episode of HVAC Education Hub. In this episode, we will show you what is the correlation between nominal capacity and volume flow, flow rate in all heating systems, but special focus is on heat pump. So regarding thermodynamics formula, nominal capacity is M multiplied by C multiplied by delta T. What it means? It means that at specific nominal capacity, specific volume flow rate must be achieved with delta T. For example, if we have nominal capacity of 9 kilowatt, it means that nominal volume flow rate is 25.8 liter per minute for delta T of 5 Kelvin. In heat pump systems, we usually want to achieve delta T of 5 degree because this is the optimal way how heat pump system will work. In other systems, this delta T is higher. For example, for gas boilers, it could be 20 degree. In that case, we need smaller volume flow rate. So what it means in heat pump systems? It means if we have 50% less volume flow rate, for example, 12.9, we need delta T of 10 degrees to achieve the same nominal capacity of 9 kilowatt. It means we will have lower comfort, compressor will work higher, and we will not achieve what we want. So it's crucial to ensure that system is properly sized, that piping and volume flow rate are calculated in a good way. And also we need to ensure that circulation pump can achieve this volume flow, flow rate at a given pressure drop. We'll cover that in some of next episodes. Also, formula for capacity and volume flow rate could be very quick. It is approximately volume flow rate is three times nominal capacity. This is approximately, so you can, you can use this quick calculation. Thank you for watching and see you in next episode.